it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I remember to plug in the mic today, so hopefully the sound's better. Um, I have a small haul. I have my fabric that I have bought over the last few weeks that when I did the actual hauls, I didn't have the fabric because it was being, it was at my daughter's house being washed. I picked up a couple of things at Dollar Tree, a couple more things at the Hobby Lobby clearance sale, and a few things on clearance at Meyer when I was there. Um, the fabric I'm particip gonna, going to participate in a um, 52 blocks in 52 weeks. We'll see how this goes. I've never really quilted, so um, but I want to try it. It it's always looked like something that I would like to do, so I'm going to try it. Um, so they said you would need three different fabrics, one and a half yards of each, in order to complete the if you use the same fabric for all the blocks so I bought this purple one this flowered one that's kind of purple and gray and then this one that's also flowered these are actually I think kind of the same print just different colors this one has the black background with the purple and gray flowers and this one has the purple and black kind of and there's some yellow in there too. So I'm hoping that those three will look nice together. Um, I also want to do a, try to do a quilt. And I'm thinking for this one, it's just going to be square for the quilt, a combination of different fabrics. I have some red, white, and blue fabric that I had shared previously. My husband's a big Cub fan, so I wanna make him, I had to trim off all those frayed edges, but um, like a lap quilt that he can use and use as decor and just cover up whatever. So I bought a yard of each of these cub fabrics. There was one more I was supposed to get and they were, I had did it as my online pickup in store and they ran out of it. So I think there's one more I need to pick up. I'll have to kind of check kind of how I designed it and see if I can get by with just what I bought or if I'm gonna need the one more. Um, I needed more St. Patrick's Day fabric to make my cover for my bench. So I only needed another yard of these because I already had two. And the Easter one I also needed. And then this one I found, it was just like a fabric remnant at Hobby Lobby last week. Um, it's only like seven inches wide, but it's 108 inches long. And I like the color, so I went ahead and picked it up. I figured I could use it for some small little projects that I'm working on. Um, Dollar, Dollar Tree. Oh, I also have one item from Target. This one too. I was thinking at first this was Dollar Tree, but this was Target. Um, Three dollars. It's got the little, you kind of put the arrow to whatever. I prefer my cats. <laughs> I guess you'll do. True love and head over heels. I just, my hubby actually pointed it out. I'm like, oh, that's cute. So I picked it up. And then at Dollar Tree, I found a couple of, I know they're probably geared towards kids, but I thought I'm still, my husband's like, have you worked on your lettering lately? I'm like, no, I need, I need to just like practice at night. And I think I need to start over and just start with the, not actual letters, just the brush strokes. But this kind of gave some lettering ideals. And I doubt I would actually write in this because I think the marker would, well, they're one-sided, so I guess you could put a um, piece of chipboard or something behind it. Well, not all of them are one-sided, some are two-sided. I think I would probably copy this paper and use it to practice the copies on. There was a Cinderella one and a Beauty and Annabelle one. And then I found a couple of books. This one was Paper Pompons. I wish I'd had this one when I was doing the stuff for my son's wedding because there's some really cute things in here that you can do and I think they're all like tissue paper I did a lot of tissue paper flowers for my son's wedding they did there and they had like a photo booth and the entire photo booth backdrop was the paper flowers the tissue paper flowers that I made and then I made a bunch of pinwheels too so and then I bought this one start to stitch it just has some really basic type sewing projects in it. I thought for a buck I'd pick it up. 
there might be one or two in there at least that I would use and for the dollar. It's, it's worth it for that. If I only even find a couple. And I may find more. But I thought that one was cute. Um, Hobby Lobby, I went basically to look for the um, Wonder Woman planner. This store had it. They didn't have it marked down. I asked. They said, we obviously haven't gotten that marked down yet. So there's nothing we can do to help you. And I'm thinking, and I've seen people sharing this since the beginning, but I let it go. Um, I'll try to stop Wednesday. I'm hoping if they don't have it marked down, maybe the head manager is there. And I kind of know her. Not She's not a friend, but I know her. And I, I'll ask her, and maybe she can actually go look it up and see if it's been marked down or not. But she wasn't there on Saturday. It's probably her day off. But I found these brads with flowers that I liked. So I picked those up for $8.24. I found these little cupcake brads that I thought were cute. So I picked those up for $0.99. Cents. And the I found these snowflake. They're large glitter brads. And I just thought they were really pretty and could look really cute on a winter themed project so I went ahead and picked them up for a dollar twenty four um, there's actually a winter themed bundle that I haven't gotten from Dreaming Tree yet and I'm thinking when I get it these might work well on it so I already have a use in mind for them which is always good um, and then I found a couple of the Zot singles I don't know how well you can see it but because they're not clear but they're they're like little there's like a little clear acrylic type square and then the glue dot is on it. I found those for $1.24 so I picked up the two packs that I seen. Um, at Meyer, they had a few different Fiskars products on clearance. These ones were regular like $15 I think and I got them for four so they were these ones are the Razor Edge Premium Fabric Shears and they also have like a built-in seam ripper. So I thought those would be handy to have and then I got these Total Control Scissors. It says Paper Fabric and more. I'm not sure this one whether I'll go fabric or paper. The other one I know was going to be fabric so I'll definitely put that right on my cart. I'll, this one I may have something similar that I already have for paper, and if so, I'll put these in my fa on my fabric cart. And the only other thing I got, which I didn't mention, is I got my Shutterfly order of the prints that I ordered for 2018. Last week was photos in the Get Organized Challenge, so one of my goals was to upload all my pictures from 2018 and what I have so far for 2019 and get them printed. So I ordered them through the app because Shutterfly, you can print for free in the app. You have to limit it to 250 prints per order, but you can place multiple orders. Shipping was like, I think I got close to 80 prints and it was like $8 and something. So it worked out to about 10 cents a print. Um, so I didn't think that was too bad, especially since I don't have to go pick them up someplace and you know deal with all that so I just went ahead and got them ordered so that's done I'm hoping this year to every month upload them and I don't know if it's cost effective to order them monthly because of the shipping I'll have to see how that works out if it's not too bad shipping wise if they have you know a lower one that's not too bad maybe I'll try to order them monthly so that it's just done <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, that's all that I have to share. Um, this week, tomorrow in the Get Organized Challenge is starts embellishment week. So I want to get working on my embellishments and I want to write a blog post on my embellishment storage and share it on Pinterest, not on Pinterest, but on Instagram. So I, I'll probably share the blog post over to Pinterest too, because I do have a page on my blog, but Anyways, that's all I've got to share today. I'm, like I said, I'm still plugging away at the Get Organized Challenge. I'm trying to, I do have some embellishments that need to be put away, mainly those those um, cut-aparts from the pages. I need to get them 
finish cutting them apart and filing them away. I like those things, but they're kind of a pain to store. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't bother keeping them, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.